as we led up to this modern group of individuals who had agents, managers, and lawyers. Agents and managers and lawyers are not there as ministers teaching you how to be good guys. They're teaching you how to make money. And they're emphasizing how to develop your image so that you can uh, be uh, effective for corporations to represent them and to make extra money. So the problem is money don't make you perform. It does not perform in a sense for you when you have to play sports or certain other things. So there was a generation of individuals that thought that because they knew how to make money and develop an image that would be commercial, that uh, they were on top of it. But that particular generation got into drugs and into problems that shouldn't be because they were making all this money and, and they had all of this uh, uh, publicity. So what we had was the fact that the capitalistic idea, the commercial idea, dominated our, our, our society. The agents, lawyers, and managers drove it and the players, thinking that it would be wise to listen to those experts, got carried away into something that did not bring them the satisfaction that pure performance and winning and participating would bring them. So the quality of life was overlooked. Money took the place. Uh, image took the place of everything. And uh, now what you have is LeBron and Camilo and all of those individuals they know that they have the ability to go beyond the feeling they have about being great players. They can make a contribution to their, their community, their, this country, this society. And uh, although they haven't really done their homework, their attitude is good about making positive change and contributing to the welfare of, of the country. So that's my take on the situation. And I'm very happy to see these young people step up. The only thing that I'm, I fear is that their popularity and their money is so big until they get trust, trust, I mean, thrown into leadership roles that they're not intellectually uh, capable of fulfilling. And very few people have the courage to talk to a superstar in a very honest way and say, look, why don't you seek out an organization or individuals that are a little more knowledgeable than you and work with them and maybe uh, learn a little more, do a little more research, become more versed on the country and the background and all of these things, and uh, you will be much more effective so there is a possibility that even though they have recognized their desire to participate, their status as superstars would make a lot of people that should be listened to not be listened to.